Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back. My Life for Hire. And I'm going to be showing you today. 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 No, but uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys my first ever uh, collection, I guess. I'm sending off to get graded. WADA and VGA are both going to be used. And then this is also going to be a kind of like a two-part video. I'm also going to show you how do you guys can like clean, clean up your sealed games, make sure you can do it uh, without like damaging anything. Um, but other than that, like that's pretty much uh, all I got going on today. I have a bunch of stuff that I'm sending in, so uh, I think it'd be awesome to show you guys. So first off is going to be my collection. I'm sending off to Wada. And it's gonna start with probably one of the worst looking ones. I'm not really thinking this one's gonna get that great of a grade, but it is The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword for the Wii, factory sealed. But if you look very closely here, there are, if I can get this right, there are some dings. Nice uh, ding right there, right about by my finger here. Uh, see if I can get this right. Yeah, there's that good ding there. There's another one right above it. Then there is one right, right up there. But other than that, there is like the tiniest little hole in the uh, cellophane or seal up here. It's like a little, little, little bit peeled up. But other than that, I think it looks pretty good. But I would also like for you guys to um, comment, let me know what kind of grade you think this is gonna get, or anything else I'm about to show you. Um, I don't know, personally I think this one's going to get maybe a 70, or 70, uh, like, 7.5 maybe on box and then probably like a B on seal maybe B plus because of the uh, rip in the seam there not seam but it's just like a little hole so I'm also gonna show you how you can clean it up a little bit it's going I'm gonna be using isopropyl alcohol isopropyl alcohol for cleaning your games and then I'm also going to be using some Angel Soft toilet paper. But what I'm going to do is take two, two sheets, fold them in half, and then I'm going to fold it in half again, just like that. And then I'm going to take my rubbing alcohol here, and I'm going to put a little bit on here. Just a little, because you do not want, you do not want this to be like soaking wet. You don't want it to be like dripping or anything like that. And I'm also just kind of, gonna kind of like try to spread it out a little bit so it's even, so it's not just like one giant wet spot here. Because when I'm uh, when I'm pushing and cleaning this stuff off, I don't want any to like seep out and like just get super wet. So I'm gonna take the game here and I'm just going to. Wipe it down. Wipe it down, everybody. Nice wiping it. Wipe, 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 wipe. Really get in there. Get all that dirt and stuff off. Because who knows where your games have been before they were in your possession. Who knows you touched them? You know what? You know, you don't know where they've been stored at you don't know what's been on them anything like that so i'm just taking this nice and wiping it all down then just every side get the top here because your seals will have some dirt and dust and stuff like stuck under it so but yep just keep on keep on cleaning it up just wipe wipe it you wipe the game 
but no, really. I mean, you'll you'll see. Like, let me see here. Can you guys see this? Let me see here. Look at that. Look at that. That was pretty dirty. I'm gonna need another one for this. That was just like from the front. Oh no. So you take two pieces, you fold them, you fold it again. There we go. Get your alcohol. You put some on. You spread it out. Push down on it even, whatever. Just get it like all the way through and make sure it's not like soaking wet, okay? Then you take your game, you take your game, you wipe your game. I mean, granted, when you send your games to WADA or VGA, you also can pay for them to do a light or like heavy cleaning, depending on how bad you think it is. Um, which I'm going to do as well on top of doing this, but I'm just cleaning it off a good amount for myself, just so I feel better about sending them in that way and everything like that. So, you know, you feel me. Do you feel me? Anyone? Does anyone out there feel me? Let me know in the comments below. But no, seriously, I would like to know other people's opinions, uh, what kind of grades they think. If you uh, enjoyed the video, if you didn't know what you were gonna do about cleaning them or sending them in or anything like that, it'd be nice to know like some feedback. So, I appreciate it. Subscribe if you wanna see some more. Hit that little bell thingy if uh, you wanna see when I uh, upload a new video. Okay, so this one I think is ready to go. So we're just gonna set it off to the side over here. Next up that I'm sending to WADA is a sealed copy of Punch Out for the Wii. Look at this guy. I think it looks very good. Can I get the seal on here? Come on. There it is. There's the seal. I think it looks pretty dang good for a sealed copy. So, show you the back a little bit better. I honestly think this one might get like a nine, nine or higher. I don't really think there's any dings on it. but I don't know. I don't see any bad dings anywhere like Skyward Sword have. So I think it might get a nine or better, but you should let me know what you think. I'm like pretty new to all this grading stuff, so if anyone out there is new, like I am, is looking for the good information, don't come to me, because, no, I'm just kidding. I mean, I, I really, like, I'm very new to this. So we take our paper towel, or not paper towel, our toilet paper with the rubbing alcohol on it. Push on it a good bit and uh, spread all that out. You take your game and you wipe. And you give it a good old wipey. As you see. And I mean, some of this stuff is really on there, so. You probably don't want to be afraid here. You want to, you really want to clean this stuff off, man. Or if I'm doing something completely like terrible, please let me know as well. Because like I said, I'm very new to this, but I'm trying to do everything the right way.
so. Yeah, I had, I had some dirt on there. I had some good old dirt. I mean, you really gotta kinda like get into some good lighting just so you can see like the smudges and everything else if you see. There's a little bit of dirt on there. There is a little bit of dirt. She got a little bit dirty out there in the world before I had her. She, he, whatever it is, it's just a video game. Just messing. Just playing. Just kid. Just doing whatever. But, uh, yeah. Get some more toilet paper here. Oh man, I, uh, I think I put too much on this one. I think I put too much on here. We're gonna have to like dampen it out a little bit. Like I said, you don't want it like seeping everywhere or anything like that. You want it to be just like a little bit damp. Just a little. Clean the top. Clean all your sides. Clean your sides, clean your sides, clean your sides, all the sides. Clean your, uh, your spine. Nice and good wiping in there. Real good wiper. That's what you are when you clean video games. Real good. <coughs> Oh, I got too close to the rubbing alcohol. Excuse me. You gotta be a real good wiper. Now I'll get some more for the back. For the back. Your alcohol. Thin it out here. Same thing every time, guys. That's just what I'm doing. Now, thankfully, like, none of my games have stickers on them. Like, price stickers or anything like that. Because that's, like, a whole other story. I'm getting those off. But if you want me to show you how to get stickers off, I could make another video for that as well. Because I've had to take off my fair share of stickers off of games, amiibos, action figures, toys, anything and everything you can think of. I've been there. So I know how you all feel when it comes to keeping your things nice and display ready. Back is looking pretty decent. Alrighty. No, I'm probably not going to uh, clean every game in front of you guys just because that's going to get very time consuming. And I know you guys don't want to sit here forever. I feel like you'd rather see what games I'm getting graded. So this one is done. Nice and clean. At least to my abilities here. And that's it. I mean, just really like, it's all about just wiping it down nice and easy. So. I'll just show you everything else uh, that I'm getting graded now, and uh, let me know what you think, man. This is all new to me. I uh, haven't done much of this stuff ever. I mean, I've collected games for a very long time and all that stuff, but I've never gotten anything graded, so this is all new to me. So, moving on, the rest of the stuff I'm getting graded by WADA, a sealed copy of Rhythm Heaven Fever. It's very nice condition, except for where Mr. Baboon is here. I think that's what he is. Is he a baboon, everybody? Can you let me know in the comments if he's a baboon? A baboon Aruno? Or is he something else? I'm trying to get, like, a good... There's, like, a... It's not a puncture in the seal. It's just a puncture in the game art, somehow. Like... Like, there's no hole in the seal. There's no hole in the seal, but it's like, 
all jacked up like that. But yeah, this is factory sealed. The seal looks amazing. I got this from Walmart. So, I think the seal looks really good though. So yeah, there's that. Put that back in here. And then the rest of the stuff I'm getting graded by Wada is all the same thing. It is three copies of Metroid Prime Other M. And they're all sealed. So I think they all look great. There's one. This game right here, everybody, by the uh, least popular out of uh, a lot. Like all the Wii ones for sure. Gotta get good angles for you guys. You can tell me what you think about what grade these are gonna get. Come on. Focus. There it is. Nope. I don't know. They all look pretty good, except for the one copy like has this weird thing going on here. So I don't know what grade that's gonna get, but it's kind of like, I don't know. It doesn't look too great, I'll tell you that much. Whatever. But yeah, that's, uh, that's everything I'm getting graded by WADA for now. So let me know what you think about those, and then I can move on to what I'm getting graded by VGA. So give me one second here. Actually, I'll start with this. We have Zelda Skyward Sword Edition Joy-Cons, and I think that they are like mint. Absolutely mint. Every corner is really good. Yeah. Every corner looks pretty dang good. The seals are like perfect. The seals are perfect. Can I get it? I mean, you can kind of see it. You can kind of see them, but I assure you, these bad boys are pretty dang perfect. And then here's the back. Everything looks good. Yeah, so that's what we're starting off with VGA. Next, it's a big collection. So we'll start off with these. I am getting Shantae for the Nintendo Switch. And I mean, I think it's pretty perfect. I think it could get like a 95. Honestly, I think it could. Maybe. Come back as an 85 plus, you know. But I think it looks really good. It's great. Then we have Risky's Revenge for the Switch. Two. Next, we have Shantae from Limited Run Games for the Game Boy Color, which I think is also in like mint condition. seal looks kind of weird but yeah so we have that the rest is pretty much like all Shantae games I'm not gonna lie to you guys next 
here. Shantae, collector's edition for the Game Boy. I think it's pretty much mint though, as well. Looks pretty good though, in my opinion. Everything looks really good, just needs uh, clean down. This one does have vent holes, so. With the uh, games with vent holes, I think you just need to be very, very careful. And you're very, very easy on your rubbing alcohol or whatever. If honestly, if you don't wanna touch it and you don't wanna mess with it at all, just pay for them to grade it. Just, just spend the extra money, have them greet it, and you'll benefit from it. That's all you gotta do. So, we have that. Next, of course, Shantae <laughs> for the Switch, Collector's Edition. Here we are, more Shantae, everybody. I'll get a nice glimpse of my tattoo as well. It matches my shirt. It matches my shirt. Alright, sorry about that. No, I'm just kidding. But yeah. I think this one looks really good as well. Every corner is pretty pristine. Pretty awesome though. And then last up, I'm gonna get my headphones off here real quick. Just rip them off. Alright, sorry. Sorry everybody. Lastly we have Shantae, Risky's Revenge. Collector's edition. Corners are also very, very nice. I think it's pretty high candidate for a good grade. Looks amazing. So, that is it for the Shantae games. Actually, no, it's not. I have one more. I lied. Sorry. I have to get it out of a box here now. I keep it in a shoe box. How about that? So. Shantae and the Seven Sirens for Nintendo Switch. Collector's Edition. Very great condition. All the corners are very nice. All the sides are very, very nice. The bottom is very, very nice. And the top is very, very nice. So we have that. One, uh, one other big old collector's edition here, which is not Shantae, thank god, right? We have the Fire Emblem 30th Anniversary I did a collector's edition for the Switch. Corners look very, very good. Looks awesome, I love that. Seal looks really good. Just maybe a little dusty, that's it. Seal here, just a little dusty, I think. Looks really good. See, like this one is just straight cardboard box. Okay, so I am I'm not going to wipe this down with rubbing alcohol. I'm just going to have them pay. I'm just going to pay them to clean it really well for me. So 
we have that. And then, hmm, I have one, uh, one other little, a couple other little things here. Sorry, I'm getting uh, discombobulated here. So, I guess we'll keep the switch theme going real quick. So, we have one copy of Windjammers. It is factory sealed as well. All these games are factory sealed. Everything I'm getting sent off. In case anyone was curious if I didn't say anything. Come on. Focus. No. It's not gonna focus. There it is. The seal looks really good. I think it's a really good candidate as well. We have a sealed copy of Breath of the Wild, of course. Why wouldn't I? Although it's like the recent print version with the uh, other language on the back. So. But. Just bought it from Walmart the other day. I'm just going to send her in. Looks good though. I think it's a good candidate for high grade last switch game I'm getting graded which you can make fun of me if you want I don't care um, waifu uncovered <laughs> sealed for switch um, yeah this this game is a little ridiculous if you ask me but why not get it graded right destroy the clothes save the waifus right If you don't, if you don't know about this game, if you haven't heard about this game, or anything like that, um, just ask me to make another video on it, because I can just do that for you, because it'll be like, a good, good little length of time, I'll, I'll talk about it, I guess. It's kind of funny. But, lastly, on our list, what we are sending to WADA, easy with this here, man, it's just a copy of Triforce Heroes for the 3DS. Factory sealed. Come on, just focus already. Is it better if I like sit down and just do this? Maybe. Yeah, that looks decent. There you go. There you go. And then the back. Yeah, so I think that could get a decent grade as well. And then that's it, guys. That's all I'm sending off. It's a lot of stuff. Um, I'm really hoping to get some good grades. And you guys should let me know what you think. What do you think of the video? What kind of grades you think these can get? If any of them are actually probably not not worth sending in. Eh. But um, yeah, let me know, guys. I'd be really uh, appreciative of your support. And if you want to subscribe, feel free to do so. And then other than that, man, that's all I got for you today. I really appreciate you watching. Thank you so much. My Life for Hire, out.